Hello and welcome to the Monday afternoon stream. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Give me a big thumbs up in chat if you can. Thank you all of you who have uh, been bearing with me here as I try to siphon through the YouTube issues. Uh, hopefully you guys can uh, can kind of hear me and see me just uh, perfectly fine here. It uh, looks like everything's going good on my so end. Can... Yep, sounds good there. Uh, and so I know a lot of you are asking the question, I can't go to my channel, my channel is not loading up, and uh, unfortunately, there is a lot of stuff going on via YouTube on their back end, uh, and so if you can't go to your channel, don't get too scared just yet. Uh, as far as we know, um, there is just some issue with the back end of YouTube when it comes to their servers, and so with all of that happening, uh, that's kind of what's going on there. So if you can't see or go to your channel, don't get too scared just yet. What's going on, Dan, in chat? Let me know uh, who all's here in chat by letting me know where you guys are coming from today. Hopefully you all are having a great Monday afternoon. Um, it is around 3.40 uh, East Coast, Eastern Standard Time, my end. And uh, and so we're uh, going to rock it today, have a, have a really good time. I'm super excited uh, about hanging out with you guys. we got Dan coming in from Creator Fundamentals. Uh, Rick asks, are they updating the website? I'm not quite sure. What you're probably, probably going to see, uh, and I can show you guys exactly what I'm seeing on my end, is basically just a server error. So if we go here and then go to the screen cap here, you're able to see kind of what you're probably seeing. So uh, we've got some monkey problems. Somebody's monkeying around with the um, with the YouTube back end there. So you're probably seeing this. So I don't want you guys to freak out just yet. I don't want you guys to worry about it just yet uh, because, they, again, YouTube's probably trying to fix some stuff on their end. And, and that's okay. We can take care of that. Um. We got people coming in from Toronto, San Antonio, Kentucky, Arizona, Michigan, New Zealand. Uh, man, we got people coming in from all over the world, which is amazing. It's one of the beauties of live streaming. I hope all of you had a wonderful and a fantastic Easter. I know I did. Spent a lot of time with family. Actually had some family uh, in town from out of town, if that makes any sense. And so for me, it was fun to uh, take a look and hang out with other people. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've been seeing that on Google Chrome a lot. Yes, yeah, apparently uh, there's a lot going on on Google Chrome. Um, and so I'm not sure. I mean, it should be other browsers as well because I got on my, my, my iPhone, my mobile device as well, and there were some issues with that as well. So uh, I know I had some audio issues last stream. They should be uh, fixed. I actually needed to get a new XLR cable, this cable right here, that plugs from my microphone to my USB audio interface. There were, I guess it was an old cable or something, and so when I went back and listened to it, I was cringing just a little bit, uh, and so I apologize that you guys had to listen to that uh, last stream. There was a lot of like really uh, annoying hissing sounds and some some white noise there, and so uh, it was it was frustrating. Dan, I noticed that the other day it was substituting the user instead of the slash C on some channels. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, hopefully, they'll get to the bottom of it pretty quick. Uh, Pakistan, we've got uh, Bronx, New York. We've got people coming in from all over. That's amazing. Uh, leaving to Hawaii on Thursday. That's awesome. Uh, Macarius, hey, Dusty, just coming to say hello. I'm at work, so I'll definitely watch later. Macarius, thank you so much, my friend. Um, hopefully, have a great day at work. Uh, Aromia Daily News, LOL, great. Yeah, it's it's definitely frustrating. But hey, you know what? YouTube is is normally up most of the time. And so it's just, you know, you can't get too upset at them. It's good to see you in the chat. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, have come and hung out with my chat before. What's going on, Mayak? How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, we do these streams every Monday afternoon and every Friday morning. Uh, we get on here, we talk YouTube, we talk podcasting, we talk entrepreneurship, we talk uh, all things basically online business, whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, I also can review and rate your channel uh, via Super Chat. So if that's something you want, or you can just Super Chat because you just love what I'm doing. You want to support me, my content, the podcast, things like that. And if that's something that you want to do, you can do that as well. I really would appreciate that. Uh, we got people coming in from Kentucky, from Canada. We got them coming in from all over the work. Uh, Yuri, love your work, Mr. Porter. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me that you would say that. I, I enjoy what I do for a living. I enjoy my work. 
work. And so uh, hopefully some of it uh, will bring you value. So that's awesome. Chris, what's going on? Chris and Conch, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. It's funny because like on Monday afternoons, obviously a lot of new people, a lot of unique people will be able to come in that aren't able to come in on Friday morning because it's so early. Um, thank you very much for getting my name right. It is super hard. Well, I am just, uh, I'm here to please, man. That's what I'm here for. Uh, Geek Out, I made the change you talked about uh, last week. That's awesome, man. Hopefully, you'll be seeing some fantastic results in the very near future. Uh, and again, it's not just those things that are going to help you kind of progress on your YouTube journey. You're also going to need to put the time in and consistently continue to update. Uh, Yuri, is your Patreon a one-time fee? So the way it works is if you want access to the, uh, if you want access to the, uh, the creators only discord which is amazing by the way you support me over on patreon you just ask the question is it a one-time fee so it, it's a, it's a once per month fee but it's literally for as little as a dollar you get access to the discord so like 12 bucks a year i mean that's that's amazing i mean come on you can't really beat that right uh mayak with the one dollar canadian thank you so much man thank you so much for that donation i really appreciate it. that means a lot to me uh, Dr. Sten Ekberg, how are you doing, doctor? How are you doing today? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, Mayank said, I'll start the super chat. <laughs> Love it, man. Love it. That's amazing. Um, let's see here. 10 second word on how to grow your channel. Consistently upload quality content. I mean, that's it, really. You know, all of the other stuff, the algorithms, the this and the that. Um, you know, there's a lot that can be involved. There's, you know, some stuff you can get into to improve your channel, keywords, tagging, things like that. But if you really want to grow, you got to consistently upload quality content. And a follow up to that would be be willing to change and to pivot. So go from there. Are you having issues getting to all the channels, Dusty? I can't seem to get to any of the channels in the stream. Uh, if that's the case, we'll come back and we'll have to review them, uh, you know, at a, at a later date. If if you know we can, we have to do that, but we'll we'll figure it out. But Christina, you're exactly right. That was a concern of mine as well. So uh, hopefully we can uh, we can. Take that. Um, doctor said, I was just about to ask that. Yes, so it's going to be tough, but we'll see. What does that $1 buy for us on Patreon? So it's really not buying anything on Patreon. Just briefly, I can kind of show you like this here um, is going to be what it looks like as far as I'll make this kind of full screen here on Discord. But if we go here, you're going to see... This here is just the YouTube Creator Sub Discord. We have a place for all of you to chat with each other. And primarily, it's not like chatting with me. I'll chat throughout the day and help you and give you any advice I can. But if you join the Creator Discord, the benefit is with the community. So all of these people, as you see over here on the right-hand side, they're actual YouTubers like you. And they talk throughout the day on this channel. There's a place to share your channel URL and link, and everybody does that here. There's a place to post your recent uploads where basically you can go and talk about your most recent uploads. Uploads and, and kind of what's going on with your channel. Basically, the benefit here with this is going to be, you know, primarily just to communicate with other creators about what you're doing and what they're doing. That's kind of my thought process on the benefit of that. We got Bryson in here. We got Foul Fish in here. Uh, CSGO Wings. That's amazing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got some other people kind of knocking in here. Uh, Gullum, let's see here. What was the other question I had someone about? Let's see here. But that's kind of what the Patreon, and again, it, it's not necessarily like a buy-in. You just, you know, you support me and then you get access to that. So, um, and all of you just now joining the chat, YouTube is having some problems. Uh, and so, you know, just understand that's kind of happening. Tracy Gonzalez, thanks for the knowledge. No, thank you. Uh, Mayak says the Discord is super awesome. The people on the Discord are awesome and we support each other, et cetera, et cetera. A hundred percent agree with that. Ginger's Doll Show and Crafts is the Discord free. The way it works on Discord is that you support me for as little as a buck a month, $12 a year, and you get access to the Discord channel where you get to go and you get to talk to other creators about YouTube and about what's going on. Great question though, Ginger. Great, great question. Uh, thanks, Dusty. We'll be signing up to the $1 today. I'll be waiting on it, Yuri. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. If you do that, uh, I appreciate it either way, but if you support me, uh, it allows me to continue doing this. Like These live streams take effort. They take time. They take, uh, you know, I did some research before I got on here like I always do, so that's kind of what's going on. 
the infographics show it's dusty we love you uh, i'm not gonna say uh, his name he may not want me to but he is actually a supporter of mine on patreon the infographics show is a very very large prominent channel doing some amazing things so definitely go check out what they're doing ellen how long uh, how do you live stream without 10,000 subs? Unfortunately, you can't do that right now. That's something they took away, uh, and that's kind of uh, unfortunate. But again, it gives you a, uh, a motivation to get to the next level. Um, I'm a small YouTuber, 21 subs, uh, mainly gaming. Can you help me? What free game should I play? I don't know, man. It just depends. Uh, Joe Roderick, you meant Patreon? Yes, Patreon. Yes. Uh, if I said it incorrectly, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chris and Conch with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much much for the support i really do appreciate that thank you thank you so much for that uh, bomb grillins hello everyone hello dusty hello bomb grillins welcome to the stream thank you so much um wwe predictions i'm never gaming subs anymore i'm not sure what that means not sure what that means um, does Discord have a monetary support system too? It doesn't work like a monetary support system. Discord is just a perk for being a part of the Patreon. Um, and that's how it goes. Christina, you can live stream without 10,000 subs? Okay, maybe you can. That was something they put into place. Yes, Chris, I will get to your channel really, really quickly. I will do that. Um, but yeah, Christina, it's they had that in place earlier. Again, I'm not sure they 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 probably since then have have gotten rid of that. So I assume if your if your channel's in good standing, you shouldn't have a problem uh, streaming. You know, so you may want to go and check your channel, figure out is it in good standing, and then go from there. So Chris, hopefully I'll be able to get to your channel here uh, with the with the YouTube problems that's going on. Oop, uh oh, it's not <laughs> not looking too good here. Not looking too good on this end. Um, there's some server issues when I try to get to everyone's channel. So hopefully they will uh, be ironing this out and uh, and we can we can get it fixed. So the way it works is if you super chat right now uh, for a channel review, which I really appreciate, then I will definitely review your channel by the end of the stream. If I don't, uh, then I will have another stream either tomorrow or the next day where I make it up for everyone who donates and does the super chat so we can get to the channel. Because right now, uh, unfortunately, YouTube's having some issues like I just showed you guys right here. Uh, there is a 500 internal server error, which is uh, which is crazy. You can't super chat under a thousand subs. That's weird. I, I I didn't. I was not aware of that. I thought that you. I thought that it would be completely fine. I, I didn't think you had a limit of super chats if via via you know the amount of subs that you have. Now maybe you do. That's something that's new to me though. Um, but yes, let's see here. Same problem. You're having the same problem going to channels. Yes, unfortunately, that is, uh, that's the issue. That's the issue. But you can actually now you used to not be able to super chat via mobile devices, but you can now, which is amazing for creators because I know, uh, you know, a lot of creators had a lot of people who wanted to support their channels, but unfortunately they, they couldn't because they were all in mobile devices. And so it kind of, it, it was, you know, it's not a good situation because you know, that feature wasn't available. Um, and so today I kind of want to talk to you guys about, there's a couple, there's, there's two things that happened since last stream. It happened over the weekend, um, the end of last week and, and over the weekend is that, uh, YouTube announced a couple of different things. And I, I kind of want to talk to you guys they, they, they released a video on the creators, the YT creators, um, the YT creators YouTube channel. And so I want to kind of discuss that briefly about my feelings on that. And then also there was some other stuff that came uh, down the pipeline about ads and what ads can be run on channels and things like that. So, um, so super chat is only for channels that have a thousand, a thousand subscribers and the 4,000 hour, uh, watch. Okay. So 1k subs and 4k watch hours. Yeah. So, uh, that's, I'm okay. I, I, that's just news to me. See that I, I have learned something on my own stream. That's awesome. Um, is your Patreon Dusty Porter creating podcasts? Yes, that is me. That is me. It says Dusty Porter is creating a podcast. It should look something along the lines of this. If we can go here and go to screen cap right here, uh, as you can already see, we've got over 36 people supporting the stream. Most of those for that kind of dollar tier mark to get access to the page, to the discord. Uh, and if you're asking why I'm putting a, you know, a, a monetary cap on it when, you know, a lot of people are doing it for free. I think when you put a money, you know, when you put money where your mouth is, you feel more invested in what the thing is. Um, and so because of that, that's kind of how it happens. Um, married to the fam farm says, I still don't see the super chat option on my iPhone. Maybe it'll come with an update. Yeah. They just told me you actually have to have a, a thousand subs and 4,000 
uh, hours of watch time, which you may have. And if that's the case, then I don't know what the answer to that question is. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and close out of this here. Um, all right. So the one thing I wanted to show you guys is, let's see here. Let me just pull it up. I had it pulled up, but all of the mess with YouTube kind of had me all uh, discombobulated. Rick Nation BRB. All right, man. Come on back and join us. Uh, let's see here. Um, notifications. There were some updates on this. Here we go. Um, let's see here. So they're, they're, they're talking about the notification system and I kind of want to let you guys sh see the, uh, the videos that I, that I saw on this. Um, look at that. There's one of my videos up there for that. Um, I want to show you guys that vither, that vither, no, that video, uh, Heather, hi, Dusty and everyone. Hello. Welcome to the stream today. Uh, thank you so much, Heather, for joining us today. Oh, I thought they meant to collect super chats. Maybe so. Maybe I misunderstood what uh, Dan and uh, and Christina was were talking about, which is very very likely. I could do that. Yeah, Heather, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for for joining us. Let me just go here and see it. Maybe their channel is not. Um, their channel is okay here. Let's see here, YouTube creators. I want to show you guys the. I want to show you guys exactly what uh, what happened here. Let me just put this back on chat so you guys don't have to watch everything I do there. Give me one second. Oh, don't know what. There you go. Um, let's take a look and see if I can find what I wanted to find here. All right, here we go. Creator Insider. Let's see. So even the Creator Insider YouTube channel uh, is actually having issues as well. <laughs> Joe says, I think you can make a super chat as long as you are in a country that supports it. You can also you can only collect payments via super chat. Yeah, so I think that's kind of what I thought, but I think I just I just misunderstood what was being said there. All right. I have this video queued up for you guys. I want you guys to see exactly. Here we go. All right. Here We heard your feedback loud and clear on my live streaming updates video that you wanted to hear more about notifications. We thought it was better to get a video. Out. Okay, and I do want to start off All right, so uh, right off the bat by saying um, we did not mean to conflate the... So basically this was a video on the Creator Insider page, which is also if you're not subscribed to the Creator Insider page, it, you need to be. Uh, YouTube is doing a fantastic job of updating uh, people via this channel. Uh, and so I would highly recommend if you haven't already to get subscribed to Creator Insider. You may not be able to right now because of the issues that YouTube is having. But I watched this whole video. It was almost a 30 minute long video. But basically this guy right here that you see in camera, he is the lead of notifications at YouTube. And so basically they went straight to the source and they understood that people were getting frustrated with not understanding why YouTube doesn't alert everyone, you know, that doesn't, you know, if you don't press the bell icon, like this little bell icon right here when you subscribe to a channel, like right here, where you're going to get notified for every video that someone publishes, what has happened is, is that he's gone through here on this video, and I'm not going to watch it every bit of it with you. We'll kind of watch bits and pieces of it. But basically what's happened is he's kind of explaining why YouTube doesn't do that uh, because everyone was getting really upset. You can see I, I kind of posted a comment down here. Roberto, you see, he's posted a comment here. People are, are were really interested in this video, and I think this was one of the better uh, community interactions that they have. Um, Joe says, the point is that you used to be able to select what kind of notifications you wanted per channel. Then they changed it to either on or off. Now it's broken. Yeah, unfortunately, it is broken now. I, hopefully, they're working on it. They, they, they said that they were working on it. Uh, but this guy basically explains how the YouTube notification systems work. Um, the interesting thing about the YouTube notifications is that he was saying in his, in what he said, is that when you have a notification system to where you get notified for every video someone posts when they're posting daily, or a lot of news channels, a lot of other people are posting way more than just one time. Um, and so what happens is people feel like they're getting spammed by these channels, by uh, the you know people they subscribe to, but they're getting spammed with these. And what they saw is that the watch time and the actual time on YouTube itself, by the way, which is what YouTube wants, 
they want you to be on their channel, not on your channel, but on YouTube for as long as possible. What they have found is, is that people were leaving the site. They were going to do other things on the internet other than YouTube. And so YouTube is trying to find that balance of how do you get the creator's stuff out there to their subscribers, you know, for the majority of the subscribers, and they're working on different changes and different iterations of the notification system. And so definitely kind of stay up to date on kind of what they're doing with notifications and what you can do. So when you make a video, you can always encourage people, hey guys, when you subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon. So if you don't know what the bell icon is, this is the bell icon right here. I'm circling it with a whole bunch of green circles. I'm gonna point an arrow at it here. That little bell button right there, the bell icon, is extremely critical to, you know, when wanting when people publish a video for everyone to be notified. Uh, and Christina says, even if you hit the notification, I still don't get what I'm looking for. It's frustrating. Yeah, unfortunately, they have not done a good job of making the communication of what the notification bell is for. They've they've done a really poor job. And so hopefully in the future, we can see that that improves. That's what I'm hoping. Um, they said they might add analytics to the bell too. Now that would be amazing. Like how many people are, at, are not only subscribed, but I wonder what percentage, and that was a good point, uh, uh, Dr. Stan, is that they're going to hopefully start giving you analytics for how many people click this beautiful bell icon right here. And what that means is, is that you're going to see a big inflated number of the subscriptions right here, you know, 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, whatever, however many subscribers that you have. But what you're also going to get to have insights on is how many people click this bell. Now, this number right here, that's going to probably devalue this number a little bit. Like, I've always never been big on subscriber numbers. Yes, it's great. It's a good kind of metric to look at. But in the reality, in the long term, in the scheme of things, what would be more intriguing to me is how many people are hitting that subscribe button on my channel, but then are also tapping that bell button. So every single time, so every single time that they you know, I publish a video, they're getting information. And so that's, 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 you know, that's kind of what, what I'm hoping for. Um, let's see here. Maybe that's what, what they're fixing today with the server down. I don't know what they're fixing. It's very interesting to kind of, I don't know what they're fixing today. Um, Ginger says, maybe that's what they're fixing today. I don't know. I just said that. Um, married to the farm. If you subscribe without the bell, does every video from that channel show in your sub feed? So yes. So every time you go to your subscription feed, the subscription feed, so if I go here and I go to my subscription feed and go right here, go to subscriptions, I'm going to see everyone that I'm subscribed to. I'm going to see all of these people here in my subscription feed. Every video is going to be showing up on my subscription feed. But what's, what's going to happen is, is that they're not necessarily being notified. So what people are wanting, and I kind of get YouTube's point of view a little bit, in the fact that if you are getting notified for every time someone's posting a video, especially if they're pumping out content daily or multiple times during the day, it probably can get very spammy at times. And if that's the case, if that's the reasoning behind kind of what they're saying behind the issue with notifications, it's sending people, it's sending people away from the channel. It's sending people away from YouTube. I get their point. I get kind of what they're going at. And so... I just, I hope that they, they, they fix it. I really do. I hope they fix it. Um, I hit the bell to your channel, Dusty. Sometimes I won't see some of your videos until three days later as a new video, but it was posted three days earlier. Now that's the problem. Like that's the innate issue with the notifications system. If I click on the bell icon saying that I want to be notified for every video that Dusty publishes or every video that Christina puts out there, every time in, 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 you know, almost real time, I should be getting a notification. I get it. I don't understand the tech behind it. I'm not the one that's handling their server issues. I understand that. But don't go tell us that's what it's for. Don't go telling people you get the bell icon to do this and that. And if that's the case, again, just don't tell us that. Be more communicative with us like you were in this previous video. And then, and then kind of, you know, let us, let us know more about kind of what it actually means. Um, it's funny. Hi, how was your day? It's going fantastic. Thanks for asking. The notification is the reason why I found your channel. Dusty, explain that. What do you mean, Bryson? It was, it, what, what do you mean it was the reason why you found my channel? That would be interesting to understand what you mean by that. Um, they replied to my comment about how it would be good, and he was glad to know. So maybe thumbs up my comment so they know it's a good thing. 
I think I probably already thumbs up your comment. I actually saw where you, you commented, which was fantastic. But there's a difference in a sub feed, which is what I showed you guys a few seconds ago, in that you can you, you have to navigate to your subscription feed. If you navigate to your subscription feed, you're going to see everything that people are posting throughout the day. No exceptions. But the notifications, whether you get notified or not for a new video, that's completely different. That is completely and utterly different. Um, and so, you know, with that being said, you know, I, I really hope they fix it. I hope the, the, that the, the issue uh, is resolved. Uh, and again, maybe they're having some issues here. Um, Bryson says, not sure, but it popped up on my top right-hand corner. I'm not sure why they did. I'm also finding that I'm subscribed to channels, but notifications have been turned off. After a while, I'm wondering why X channel hasn't published in a while, and when I check, the bell is turned off. So that's another issue, another innate issue in the notification system. I can't tell you, there, you know, like Dan's channel, like Dan, the creator fundamentals channel, I click the bell for Dan's channel because I want to know when he uploads a video every time he uploads a video. But for some reason, like Christina said, I'll either get the video, I'll get the video like three or four days down the line, or I won't get it at all. And I've hit the button. And what the problem may be is that maybe I'm not, the, the bell icon got turned off after I clicked it. Like, is it, is it, if I click it on a mobile device, is it going to work? I mean, I don't know. Uh, Bryson, I'm wondering if the notification shows for live shows. I think it does. The notifications will show you uh, possibly. Uh, Dan says this past week, it's felt really, really slow. It has, this has been a, the first two months and Dan, maybe you can speak on the metrics to this. And I, I'm, I'm a metrics person, Dan. I think you are too. I, I dive into my metrics almost daily, you know, especially now with the, the YouTube creators app and things like that. It's been a rather slow, slow couple of weeks. The views have been down and things like that. But the past couple of months, like in this year in 2018 have been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and again, a lot of it could be algorithm based. A lot of it could be this and that. But what I'm really intrigued or really interested about is what makes it what what makes a week like this week? Is it notifications? Is it this or is it that? That's what I'm really interested in is kind of how that happens. Uh, Mike, I'm wondering if they're doing what Instagram does, mimicking that algorithm. I don't know. I, I haven't jumped into that algorithm on Instagram to see. Um, let's see here. Christina says. A subscriber told me that she hit the bell as well. Uh, had been her hers had been turned off. That I think that's going to be one of the things that frustrates people the most is that when the bell icon is clicked or you you hit the the bell icon and then you go back later on and you're like, why doesn't this channel publish a video lately? And they did. It's really frustrated. Uh, yeah, Dan says started like crazy, and in the last couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks, I mean, especially this past week, has really fell off. Uh, holidays for me, I kind of throw out the window. For those of you wondering about um, analytics, one thing you can you can almost always bank on is that during holidays, you know, like Easter this past weekend, this past weekend is going to be really low. Now, Christmas is different for Christmas, especially for what I do. Uh, it, it just blows up around Christmas, but you know, around holidays, normally it will slow down because people are with family or they're doing this or that. Again, it, it does base differently off the holidays, but Q1 for me and my channel has been really good, has been really good. Um, Harley, slow because kids are out of school and families on vacation. Th again, th there's a lot of reasons why it could be slow. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to sit here and act like I know because I don't. Uh, Dan said big slowdown. Um, let's see here. Seem like they're always tweaking and sometimes it doesn't go our way. Yeah, I think that I just was watching a video by, I can't remember the creator's name, but he was talking um, He was talking about the there was like a hero update or an update on the algorithm over the weekend or a few days ago and it really affected his channel. Um, I've seen that it's affected my channel as well. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit it has. Um, Yuri, just joined your Patreon. You now have 37. Feel free to do a review for me. Uh, Yuri, absolutely Absolutely, we'll take a look at your channel. I can't look at anybody's channel at the moment because YouTube and their servers are absolutely, they're just, they're, it's just terrible. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. Um, Dan said, overall, Q1 for me was insanely good. Yeah, Q1's been really good for me as well. Um, a lot of it for me, though, is the live streaming. Like, I started that over a month and a half ago. The live streaming has really helped me build up a base of people who, who are continually coming back to my videos. 
Uh, although a small number, those number of people are amazing. And my live stream videos after I upload them to the channel do very well, um, uh, you know, also. And so, you know, that's kind of where it goes. Uh, my Instagram shows your new post to a certain number of your followers and see how many people like it and then starts to rank the, that image or post higher and higher. Hmm. I, I don't know if that one, I don't think YouTube would ever go that route. Maybe they would. I just, I don't think they would because that, that, that doesn't benefit anyone. I mean, I get it for Instagram, but I, I don't think they would go that way. Uh, midnight, April one, my views crashed. Yeah. I'm, yeah. The last day of March, the 31st of March for me was a little lower. You know, a couple thousand views lower. Seth, thanks, Dusty. What's going on, Seth? How are you? He's another patron in the house. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Don't forget, guys, you can always super chat just to support the channel and what I'm doing here. If I've helped you, uh, you can always do it. You know, it's good coffee money. I really appreciate that. Um, Dan said, I started weekly this year and it's going well. Yeah, I've started doing two, three videos a week here recently, and that's been going really well for me as well. Um, uh, Christina, I'm a Dusty Porter, a live stream addict, LOL. Yeah, Christina is, uh, again, mods are amazing. Uh, and Christina, you are absolutely fantastic. All of my mods are. You guys are amazing, helping me uh, do what I do and, and really, really do appreciate it. Uh, Bryson, question, creating captions for your vids, does that bring more viewers to your channel? It very well could bring more viewers to your channel. It's just another uh, thing for YouTube and the Google bots to basically scan and to crawl. And so what happens is it's another form of text that, that they can go in and get access to uh, to possibly rank your video higher. But again, we've already talked about the, the craziness of the, the, the changing up of YouTube and the algorithms, like it just happened this weekend, like you never know, like maybe captions are important this time, go this go round, but when they upload the algorithm or update the algorithm, maybe not next time or next go around. And so again, is it a good practice to get into? Absolutely, I recommend it. If you're not doing it, start doing it now. Highly recommend it. Uh, good question though. Um, now notifications are also showing an error. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Um, married to the farm. This seems like a good time to ask. What do you recommend for backing up our content, Dusty? Uh, I assume, are you talking about backing up your content to like an external hard drive? Um, I use the TubeBuddy back, the TubeBuddy backup tool, which by the way, TubeBuddy has so graciously decided to sponsor these live streams every Monday, every Friday, uh, you know, for another couple of months for that. I am so grateful for, uh, they've been such a great partner. TubeBuddy is such a great tool. So I use them, uh, to back it up you know, via their, their small, the tool they have, which is fantastic. But what I would say is that you get an external hard drive. I highly recommend that you go to Amazon, get a, uh, a you know, a flash drive, a small one, uh, you know, maybe one terabyte, two terabyte, and then do it that way. Uh, I've recently gotten a Drobo, which is a, uh, a tower that I can put, uh, insert and remove hard drives into. That has been really beneficial to be able to pop in a hard drive and go from there. But TubeBuddy has a great tool for that as well. Um, and and it's, it's called the, the TubeBuddy Backup. It's kind of very similar to that. So, so is TubeBuddy an app for your phone? TubeBuddy is an app for your phone because they just recently released a mobile app on iOS, not Android yet. We're still working on that. Um, I'm not, but the team is. Um, and it's, it's a browser plugin. Uh, if you don't know much about TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy is, you can go here and you can kind of look at my, my screen screencast here. Um, when you download the TubeBuddy tool, you can see here that we have a place here to go and click on this little TubeBuddy link or icon up here. And you can kind of see here the different things I can do. It helps me navigate YouTube a lot quicker. It will also allow me to do things such as get a health report for my channel. It will allow me to evaluate my channel, allow me to get brand alerts when someone posts something or does something about my brand or channel. Here's the backups and export feature, which I was telling you guys about. Now we'll have to sign in here to TubeBuddy to get this to work. Uh, let's take a look here and see. Uh, so it says, I haven't run any backups recently. Use this tool to save a copy of all your video metadata, metadata then optionally download it. So basically what I do there is I download the metadata and then I get it in a uh, Excel sheet. That way, if something ever goes wrong, I'll have all that data if I want it to use elsewhere. Uh, and then as far as backing up the videos themselves, I back them up on two different hard drives in case something happens to one of the hard drives. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, when you're in a video, so if we go here and go to my videos, let's go to my videos here just briefly, uh, and then we'll go to this guy here. So if we go to my video, uh, let's see here. So we're going to my videos here, 
Um, you can see here the TubeBuddy icon. It gives me an option to go in here and apply like card uh, card templates, in-screen templates. Allows me to quickly publish to Facebook. Honestly, man, there's just so many good and great features from the TubeBuddy app. I, I really can't. I mean, it, there's just so many amazing features uh, for, for TubeBuddy. And I just, again, if you haven't already, please use my link because it'll help me out in the, in the description of this video uh, if that's something that interests you. Um, Duck says, Jordan says, advice for channels that have seasonal viewership. Example, duck hunting during season videos get 10 times more views than during the off season. You've got to expand outside your niche, man. You've got to do reviews on like guns. You've got to do reviews on ammunition. You've got to do reviews on things that people are getting ready for the season. Also by you having a podcast that will bring them kind of into your realm, into your space year round. Um, there's so many different things that you could do. Uh, maybe get into a different season of hunting if that's something that you know again i know i know hunting seasons are, are different and, and things like that maybe get into a different season of, of hunting if that's something you could do um also another thing that i would think about you know is, is interviews with with people like you're doing on your podcast i think that would be very beneficial um unfortunately if you are going to stick to a very small niche like duck hunting um you're probably going to have to just suffer those kind of ebbs and flows as the seasons come in and out uh, you know uh, kind of that that would be my advice uh, NNA Vlog says, been using TubeBuddy for all of our videos, makes things easier so you don't leave anything on the table. Uh, I think so, but again, I, you know, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just shilling out their information just because I, they're a sponsor. I, that's not true. I use, their, I use their tools daily, and I love, love, love what they do. Uh, and so hopefully you guys will check it out and get the same value that I'm getting. Uh, like Christina said, don't forget to like and share the stream uh, because it does help me out. Because think about it, if you like or share the stream, what's going to happen is other people who need help just like you on YouTube are going to get, you know, maybe see my channel, see my content, and we can put that and push that out there to the world for them to see. That's my thought about it. Hopefully you guys feel the same exact way. If you're just joining me, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Really do appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Uh, also, if you're getting a channel error on your page or someone else's channel, uh, don't fret. Don't worry about that. It is only because YouTube's having issues right now. Hopefully they will fix those very soon. Uh, we're just kind of answering questions. Also, don't forget, if you want to, you can support the channel, what I'm doing via Super Chat. Uh, we normally do channel reviews, and we will get back to those as soon as YouTube uh kind of fixes their issues right now they're just kind of having some problems uh duck gun you should do off season vlogs yeah leon welcome to the stream by the way thank you so much for joining us he actually does some some pretty cool um some pretty cool vlogs so i think doing some maybe other stuff around his life that's not duck hunting uh off season like you said would be really fun agreed 100 percent what other questions do you guys have for me here in the chat you guys have been extremely active today. A lot of questions, a lot of good questions today. Uh, and because of that, I, I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. You know, and back to the notifications thing, it's, it's frustrating because with notifications, most companies, most apps are, are going to over notify you. Um, and because of that, it can get really frustrating. And so, you know, that's just kind of how it works. Here comes my dog in here. I'm not sure you guys probably can't see her. She's right here beside me now. <laughs> her name is Dolly. She's going to give me some uh, company to, during, the, during the last little while here of the stream. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Bryson, how was your Easter? It was absolutely fantastic. We had some family in town from out of town, and uh, it was super fun. And uh, we had such a, a great time spent with each other. And... Uh, my daughter, she was amazing. Um, let's see here. Yuri, in Discord now, but there's no one there? Oh, no, there's always somebody there. They may just not be able to respond right off the bat. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there's, there's people there. They, they may not be commenting right now, but more times than not, you'll see people in there. Ask a question in the patrons lounge. Normally, someone will get back to you. Um, if you go online in Discord, will I see you? Uh, normally, sometimes I, I kind of I'm, I either hide offline or if I am online, I'll kind of make it you know make it online. True Financials, what is going on? True Financials, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, you're having a great Monday afternoon wherever and whenever you're listening. 
Yeah, I'm not sure Dolly. Uh, yeah, there's Seth saying he's there in the Discord, so he's there. Uh, Ginger says, I create about three different niches on my channel, growing very slowly. I was thinking of starting channels for each niche and uploaded there and on this channel with a few edits. Is that okay or a good idea? Uh, there's, you know, there could be there could be pros and cons of all of it. I'm I'm not a big fan of splitting up a viewer base unless the niches are completely different. If your spaces that you're in uh, are completely different, then you could really have a problem splitting your audience, which I don't like. Um, but uh, if the spaces and topics are way different from each other, then maybe you do that. Then maybe that is something that you do. Um, that's kind of what I go. Um, it says zero online. Do I need to connect my Facebook to it? No, you, you, you need to, oh, discord. You probably just haven't joined the, the channel yet. Whenever I get done streaming right now, uh, Yuri, I will invite you to our channel. you probably just haven't uh, joined our channel yet. <laughs> uh, what editing software do you use for videos, uh, for YouTube? I use premiere pro, uh, for wedding videography, which I also do. I use uh, final cut just because I have a lot of uh, LUTs in there and things like that for wedding videography, uh, for audio, I use Adobe audition or audacity. If I'm using my laptop, cause it's free. Uh, and then for like thumbnails, things like that, I use Photoshop. So I'm kind of within the Adobe suite of stuff. Um, married, anyone good at promoting their videos on Pinterest? I use Pinterest and upload my, you know, my videos to Pinterest on a, on a, you know, every time I upload them. And I found that I get a decent amount of views on Pinterest. It's about creating the correct board. So like for mine is technology or YouTube is the name of the board. And then I just kind of go from there. Uh, but you got to make sure you're correct. You're creating the appropriate boards and you're utilizing Pinterest too. It's, you know, Pinterest is all about visuals. It's all about uh, getting to a point to where people want to click on your images, which in your case for videos is thumbnails. Let's see here. Ginger says, I wouldn't promote them on new channels just to see if they grow on their own. Maybe to see if they can grow like that on their own. Maybe that's a good way to do. Yes. Internet, would you recommend cutting time off of videos based on watch time analytics? It depends on when they're dropping off. That's what you got to do. You've got to find when they're dropping off. Are they dropping off during the beginning a few seconds? Is your intro too long? Uh, are different segments of the videos that you're doing, are they getting to a point to where... Um, maybe they're all dropping off at the same moment or time on a video. Maybe so. If that's the case, look at it. Uh, what do you think of a video ad for your YouTube channel? Oh man, it really just depends. Um, it depends on if you're trying to sell something like a course, video ads are great. Um, if not, maybe not so much. Um, if you are trying to promote something again, maybe video ads are appropriate, but just for normal video ads, I'm not sure. Uh, True Financials, who should I use for hosting my podcast that I plan on starting soon? Uh, all right, True Financials, I got a, a, a great deal for you. I use Libsyn, have used Libsyn for five years, been podcasting for almost six years now. Uh, Libsyn is amazing. I will type the name of Libsyn, the URL here. But listen, when you sign up using Libsyn, uh, insert my promo code. The word is value, V-A-L-U-E. Not only will I get a little bit of a, a little bit of change tossed at me from them, uh, you will also get two free months of hosting. It's like 15 or 20 bucks a month if you do a weekly podcast, less than that if you're doing a bi-weekly. So Libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N. They are a great audio host. They're easy to work with. They provide you with the links. They can upload directly to Spotify. So many benefits. Highly recommend them, True Financials. Turn up the bacons in the house. Your podcasts have helped me build my channels. Thanks. Unfortunately, my life prevents me from publishing videos on a regular basis. Surprisingly, I'm not doing much better on Twitch than YouTube. Yes, here's why. So I have recently been trying to stream on Twitch because I like to play the occasional video game when I have time between uh, doing stuff with my daughter and my family. Unfortunately, consistently being there daily, especially for Twitch and on YouTube now weekly, is hard. And if you can't upload weekly or you can't get on on on. Uh, on Twitch, then it's it's tough. Like if you can't do it consistently, then it's a really tough spot to be in. And so I just want to encourage you to keep it up and just do what do what you can do from now going forward. You can only do what you can do. If you don't have time, you don't have time. But if you do commit to this, if you do commit to going full time with YouTube and things like that, then then go there. Uh, oh, you said you are doing better. Oh, you're doing much better on Twitch than YouTube. Okay, well, great. That's awesome. Hopefully, man, you can find the success on Twitch that you want, 
And again, Twitch is up and coming. I don't think they're they're posing a threat to YouTube just yet, but for live streaming, if you're a video game, if you're a video gamer, uh, if you're a gamer, I'm sorry, then Twitch is where you need to be. I mean, that's that's bottom line. If you're a video game YouTube channel and you're not coinciding with Twitch somewhere and you're trying to do it full time, not just a hobby, you're doing it wrong. I love Twitch, by the way. I think it's a great platform. Can't wait to see how it grows. It's already just taking the, the internet storm, <clears throat> the internet by storm, which is fantastic. Don't forget, if you haven't already, guys, to subscribe to my channel. That way, hopefully, if you hit that bell icon, you will get notified. Ryan, what's going on, Ryan? Let's play some Fortnite. I don't blame you, man. Let's, let's, oh, it is. It's Ryan. That's my buddy, Ryan. What's going on, Ryan? Thanks for hopping in here, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Ryan is a good friend of mine. It would be useful to have a video on how to use Discord, because if a new person like me signs up and goes to Discord and sees there's no one in there, they will want to unsubscribe. Uh, yes, so unfortunately, uh, you kind of caught me when I didn't get to invite you to the private channel, uh, but I will shoot you over as soon as the stream's over. I uh, can go, go from there. Michael says, where can I get one of them big gulps? Hey, man, you can't get one of the big gulps here. Oh, that's Michael, another one of my good friends. What's going on, Michael? You can tell everyone's off this week on spring break, so they're, uh, they're hanging out. Everyone's all about that Fortnite. Leon said, I seen a video ad for a vlogger and he got my sub, so that's why I ask. Yeah, I mean, ads are okay to use sometimes, but again, it's, I would only use them if I'm trying to sell something. I've used them for affiliates before, uh, such as like a hosting affiliate for Bluehost or something like that. If they're paying me an affiliate for a sign up then what I will do is I will run an ad for that, try to get some initial views, and then once you get those initial views, YouTube might pick it up quicker, and then you can go from there. Bryson just started playing Fortnite. Fun, addicting game. Yeah, unfortunately, it's an addicting game, yes. And with my wife being out of town for a couple of days this week, uh, hopefully I will be playing a lot of it. Also, if you're just now coming in here and you're trying to go to a channel uh, and you're wondering why you see the internal error, uh, it's because YouTube's having, having a hiccup right now and there's a lot they're trying to change. I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. Um, do you have audio processing running real-time on this stream, Neil? Yes, I do. Yes, so I'm running through the Scarlett 2i2, uh, but the way it works, Neil, is I'm running through OBS. I'm running a... Um, I'm running a couple of audio filters through OBS. So if you're using OBS, you can apply a bunch of the, the audio filters. Um, and so for me, I can tell you exactly which ones that I'm running. Uh, let's see here. So for my microphone right now, under filters, you can see here I'm running a compressor, a noise gate, and a noise suppression. Um, all of those kind of, I actually have a video on how to set those up. I just recently did a couple of weeks ago. I can link that video to you as well and show you what's going on. Um, would you recommend someone having more than one YouTube channel? Uh, I don't, it splits the audiences unless they're just completely different and you have to go that route, then yes. But if not, no, I, I don't recommend you going that route. Um, Agel says, hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. What about an ad for Twitch or Mixer to invite people in? Maybe that works. I've heard a lot of people running ads to their Twitch channel to get that additional uh, viewership because on Twitch what happens is if you're in like that zero or one view range, um, what happens is people will probably not notice you because you're at the bottom of the barrel. But uh, if you get up to three, four, five, six views, you get out of that kind of gutter on Twitch and people may start recognizing you because believe it or not, people like to go into smaller streams because they get direct interaction like right now we've got you know, 25 to 30 people in here at all times and so with that being said i can have direct interaction with all of you christina fortnite has to be the number one video live stream yeah right now it definitely is it is absolutely taking the world by storm joe says i'm thinking of advertising for my coaching courses on youtube but it's the one platform I've never advertised on before. Is it through AdWords? It's done through AdWords, but it's a called a video ad. So you have you have your text and display ads. You have your search ads, 
which are very similar to text and display. And then you have your shopping ads, which are with pictures and can take you directly to your site. And then you also have video ads, which are, is basically promoting something via video. Uh, and then they click on the video and it'll also like all those ads you see before you watch a video on YouTube, people are paying for those through the AdWords system. Jordan says, does that OBS stuff for your mic work in Streamlabs too? I don't, I'm not sure. Streamlabs has a much more simplified, dumbed down version of OBS. Uh, and a lot of those like more in-depth features like the audio kind of processors that I was talking about, it gets cut out. I personally just go to the bottom of the page on Twitch to find small streamers and help them out. Hey, you know, what, whatever, whatever kind of floats your boat, man, whatever works, works, right? How do you put those sound filters in OBS? Can you show us under settings, audio and OBS? If I actually show you OBS on a live stream, it'll give like that third effect where it's like it's multiplying. But what I will do for you guys is I will go here and go to my videos and show you and I'll, I'll actually paste the link there in chat for you guys to go and watch that. Uh, Jordan says, what do you, what do you use for recording your audio plus your guest audio for your podcast? I will get to that in one second. Great question, by the way. Um, right here. I'm trying to see where I did that. It was a, here we go. So we'll copy this link address here. So currently you say you download the audio from your live stream and use that to post for my podcast. I've tried that. I just don't get the quality. That is something that I'm proud of. And so what I've used before is something called, um, call recorder for Skype. But what I've just recently started using because I've been using sound effects, things like that. What I've just started using is something called Audio Hijack. Um, and so Audio Hijack is an amazing piece of software, Jordan. It's, it's kind of pricey, but it allows you to record every application on your Mac or your PC, along with uh, basically your user interface, your microphone, allows you to split them up, mono, stereo, however you want to go about doing it. Um, there's a lot of great features in Audio Hijack that other other companies and other software does not provide you. So I, I basically, I record it in Audio Hijack. I export the MP3 files. I then import them into, um, import them into, into Audition, Adobe Audition, edit them down there, do some noise reduction stuff, and then I export from Audition. So there's kind of a, a streamline. Uh, Ryan said in chat, Ecamm call recorder for Skype. Yeah, Ryan's exactly right. It is from Ecamm, E-C-A-M-M. -M. Ryan and I are actually on a podcast together, and he and I, uh, we've used Ecamm for, gosh, Ryan, we've been doing this now for <laughs> a long time. We've been doing it for a lot longer than I than I uh, thought the other day when I was thinking about how long the Blizzard umbrella has been uh, been a thing. Uh, how many years have you been working on YouTube? Almost a decade, man. Uh, seriously, you know, three or four years, but almost a decade, kind of tinkering around with it. What is the recommended amount of bitrate on OBS for Twitch streaming? I like to sit somewhere between 2,700 and 3,500. Um, like right now, this stream here is going right at 3,200, 3,300 bitrate. Again, I can go much higher. Uh, my internet, I checked before this stream, was around upload, was around 38, 39 uh, almost 40, and then the uh, the download, my internet, is around 120, 125. What is the... Re oh, you already, already answered that. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm getting the 15-second delay. Yeah, you're probably getting a slight delay. You probably are getting a slight delay. Yes. I do not suggest the Streamlabs version of OBS. It works, but it's not able to be enhanced with quality plugins. Yeah, the Streamlabs OBS version unfortunately is very, very simplified. It's very, very, how do I put this? Very, very condensed. So I would recommend using the, you know, the normal version of OBS. Uh, Jordan, I dislike Skype. Yeah, man, Skype is, uh, unfortunately it's, I mean, you could use Discord, you could use Google Hangouts, but I've had issues with both of those. Um, YouTube tweeted that they are aware of the 505 issue and they are working on it now. Awesome. So we know they're, they're trying to get to the bottom of it. So that's fantastic. Uh, Vinicus says 1080p 60 at 3,500. Um, I don't know if I do 1080p at six, 1080p at 60 frames, then I normally go around 4,000, 4,200. Bitrate is kind of, is, is a sticky subject because some people say they can do this, but then when I try it, it doesn't work. Uh, Ryan says, Jordan, uh, as do a lot of podcasters, however, the available quality recording services for recording separate tracks for everyone without using hardware solutions is just better on Skype. I agree. Uh, Ryan is correct. Uh, Jordan, you may just have to bear it uh, because not everyone's going to have Discord. 
because not everyone is in that space. They're just not. HB Gamer, what's going on, HB? How are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. You're catching the tail end of it today, man. Welcome. You're normally here on a Monday or on Friday mornings. Um, true, I've been using Zoom, and it's been nice. Now, Zoom is another option. Zoom uh, Zoom is an option, uh, but people do have to download it like they would Skype, uh, and Zoom has worked for other podcasters before, and if that's something you want to do, definitely do that. Um, OBS is free. Yes, OBS is completely free. You go to openbroadcastsoftware. I think it's openobsproject.com, and you can download it from there. YouTube says max res is 1080 by uh, 1080p, 60 frames. Yeah, that's the max res for YouTube currently for live streams. Now for videos uploaded to the to the platform, uh, you can do 4K, maybe 8K. Now I'm not sure. I haven't looked at that recently. I'm not quite sure what the limits are on that. To be completely frank with you, Christina says I'm not a Zoom fan at all. Yeah. I've used it on a mobile device to, to meet with people for like businesses and our church and things like that. It's been really frustrating, <laughs> but I mean, Skype is too, right? Like there is no perfect option. There really isn't a perfect option. Well, guys, I would like to thank everyone for coming by today. I know it's been a little more of a different stream because we can't get to anyone's channel to review. If you've already sent in a super chat, which I've seen a couple of them already come through, I will definitely review your channel first thing on, you know, on the when we do the next stream. Uh, and so, you know, don't worry about that. If you haven't already, remember you can support me and the content over on Patreon to get access to that uh, Discord channel, the private creators, YouTube creators Discord for as little as a buck, which is awesome. Um, Jordan said, I downloaded Zoom. It limits you to 40 minutes in the free version. Yes, yeah, so I, 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 I didn't know that. I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I wasn't, like I said, I don't use Zoom. Uh, I've just used uh, Skype. That's it. Uh, on Twitch, I stream at 90, 900p, not 1080 at 500. It makes a big difference to viewers to stream at a slightly lower resolution, especially. Yeah, because what happens is that when they're watching your content, if you're streaming at 1080p, 60, but their internet speed is, is not good, then you're gonna you're gonna be in in some some issues. Um, unfortunately, Skype is owned by yeah, Skype is owned by the uh, the enemy. <laughs> Joe, ciao, Dusty, thanks for your help. Joe, thank you so much for hanging out. That's awesome. Seth of Seth, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Uh, Christina, I really like this stream. Thank you. I really appreciate that. HB, I'm glad to join you. That is awesome, man. HB, when we're going to make a podcast, hopefully we can get you uh, on the podcast very, very soon, my friend. Uh, that is, you know, hopefully that's, that's on my to-do list. Uh, I've got two interviews with some amazing creators tomorrow, which are going to be awesome. Uh, and I got one on Wednesday. So we got them kind of, uh, again, those are the... You, we're having a bunch of interviews right now, kind of back to back to back. Um, the, the podcast right now is doing really well. Uh, and so we've got people that are approaching me to come on the show. So it's, it, it's kind of harder to kind of, you know, sneak people in. But HB, you are going to be on the podcast. Give me another week or so. I've got a wedding this weekend that I've got to work, kind of work on. And then after that, man, me and you are going to get on it. Uh, beatboxer, I'm stuck in 2013 and still use still use Skype. <laughs> yeah, man, Skype is uh is an ancient uh, is an ancient uh, situation. But uh, like I said, it's uh it's it's sometimes it's the best that we've got, man. It's the best that we've got. So hopefully, YouTube's gonna get to the bottom of that internal error. Jordan says thanks. Yeah, I don't know Discord. If you like Discord, Jordan, go with Discord. Maybe it's the best thing for you to do. Maybe it's the best option for you to go with. Um. <clears throat> Do you know why when I go to channels of the people who are uploading, it shows error 500? Yeah, I just that's what I was just saying. YouTube's having some issues right now, some server issues. Hopefully, they're going to get to the bottom of it. It's been happening kind of uh, since the beginning of the stream today. Uh, about a couple of hours, we've seen the same issues kind of go back to back to back. Uh, how do you make a Discord server? You know what, Ellen? I've got a video on that too. Search for uh, how to uh, use Discord and then type in my name. That video should come up. It should come up. Let me just see here if it comes up. Had a bunch of people ask me about that video. AOL? <laughs> I'm not sure about AOL. Let's see here. Is AOL still around? They're, they're probably still kicking somewhere. Let's see here. 
yeah, here you go. So if you search on, let's go to screen cap here. If you search for a Discord and then my name, Dusty Porter, the first one that comes up is how to set and set up and use Discord, a basic overview of features and tools. It's about a 10 minute video on basically how to use Discord, how to set up channels, that kind of thing. Uh, and you can tell it's it's normally one of the first ones that come up. So you basically probably could search for a Discord tutorial on YouTube and it should be, let's see, uh, right here. Yeah, it's like number four. And then I think I have some other ones here on the first page as well. So uh, if you go here and, and take a look at the Discord, how to use and set up Discord, uh, I'll Welcome actually... back to another technology. Oh, there's my, my voice. Uh, I'll go right here and send you that link as well. So I'll put that in in that there. I still see AOL emails. Yeah, I still see AOL emails as well. Normally when uh, when I get emailed by someone that has an AOL email, uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of take them a little bit less serious, to be honest with you. So uh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's terrible. I used to work for AOL. Sad days. Treated their employees like garbage. Man, I hate to hear that, especially for such a big company. That's, that's insane. My dad worked for AT&T and they didn't treat him very well either. So it seems to be a trend for bigger companies. Ellen, okay. Yeah, just go there, watch that video, Ellen, and uh, hopefully it'll answer your questions. If it doesn't, email me, find me on Twitter, next live stream, come in here and ask me what you don't know, and I can show you about that. I wished I knew that when I set up my Discord. <laughs> Sorry, Christina. I'm not sure if I had that video published when I did that. Maybe I should have put that on the stream. That would have been very helpful. <laughs> Got to go awesome stream. Thanks for the tutorials and everything. See ya. Hey, man, Beatboxer, thanks for hanging out with me today, man. We're about to to, to, to call it a, a day anyway, so it's uh, it's amazing. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Good stuff. All right, guys, before we... Uh... <laughs> Ryan, I work for Dusty, and he treats me okay. <laughs> That's not true, man. That's not true. I work for you, man, even though I am the, the head honcho in, 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 your, in your words. And he treats, I, you treat me okay too. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a we, we work together. That's great. Yeah, older people have AOL email. I don't know, man. I've seen some, uh, some younger folk with, uh, with AOL email. <laughs> Ryan, I work for you. You're insane. All right, guys, do want to say a big shout out and thank you to the people giving Super Chats today. Uh, what, what a great, awesome community we have here that will support me and what I do. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the podcast, YouTube Creator Sub Podcast over on iTunes. Um, <laughs> head honcho. Over on Google Play, Stitcher Radio. We're on Spotify now. Uh, go over there and take a look. I promise you guys, you will find so much value out of all of the interviews. I actually, for all of you gamers out there, I just interviewed a guy who basically his, his YouTube channel is all, <laughs> oh, Bill, I have AOL. Listen, I'm not judging you, Bill. I'm not judging you. I apologize. They may be judging you. I'm not, okay? I do apologize. Um, but I just recently did an interview with a guy who basically his YouTube channel is all about uh, gaming careers. So cre creating careers in Twitch. And he does tutorials on OBS, on how to grow a live stream on Twitch and how to do all this stuff. And he's grown his YouTube channel in a year to like 80,000 subscribers. So he's gone from a small creator to a large creator. It was like a 45-minute conversation. So many value bombs dropped in that conversation. So go check it out. The podcast is blowing up. Uh, I think last time I checked, we were like number 52 in marketing and management on iTunes, which was awesome. We had the best month ever back you know, in March. We've had, you know, we're, we're getting uh, up to the 1.5 million download mark, which is amazing. Uh, and so go check it out. YouTube Creators Hub. Find it all over the internet. What a great stream today. Great interactive stream today. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Uh, Joe, do not LOL at AOL. Joe, I'm not even going to comment, Joe. I'm not even going to comment on what you just did there, Joe, but I like it. I like what you did, Joe. And Bill, I, I, I was not judging you. Maybe someone else, I was not. It was cool to have Ryan and Michael here briefly. Uh, cool to have people that, that I, I hang out with outside of the, the YouTube realm kind of stop in and hang out with me. It's really cool to, uh, to have those guys. So really appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We will come back with you with our next live stream coming up this next, coming up Friday. So Friday morning, 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will have another live show. And then every Monday afternoon, we will do a live show as well. You guys have been amazing. I will talk to you guys in the next one.